mean, obviously, when you've got a guy that was MVP of the league last year, and um, you know, and then George, who I think has been one of the best wings in the league for a while, and then Carmelo has probably been one of the elite scorers in the NBA over the last you know, 15 years. Um, you know, it's it's a pretty special lineup. Um, so it's makes it it's very tough, but they're doing a great job on both ends. You know, this is a team that really can guard, and I think the guys that aren't um, that we didn't talk about, you know, especially when you consider Adams and Roberson, um, the way that they can impact the game with cutting and with their defensive length and versatility is pretty impressive. Marcus said he's playing, Marcus Morris said he's playing like tonight. What do you see from him? Yeah, I mean, he's ready to roll. I mean, I think the biggest thing is he's been antsy to play now for a little bit. We wanted to make sure that he was um, – you know, making the appropriate strides so that when he does come back, we make sure that we, you know, he's not going back and forth um, due to that knee soreness. So hopefully, um, you know, that could be the case. He'll play um, tonight, and then he'll play in, in one of the two. Um, we won't play in back-to-back -back still, um, at least not yet. He said he'll come off the bench initially. Is that part of easing him back in or just reluctance to break up? Um, I mean, it's more about it's more about the fact that we're not gonna we're not gonna play him a ton, but also that group is playing well together. And so ultimately, we will go game to game, as we've said before. And um, you know, whether it's Tice starting one night or Baines continuing to start, or we want to go small and put Marcus uh, in there, then we'll have a lot of options. Jason, pretty well yeah, again, I mean, it's more about, you know, how we want to play going up against particular opponents. But Jason's played great. And, you know, I think that when you look at Marcus, Marcus is a guy that's played a lot of his career at the three, but also a um, significant amount at the four. Jason's played both. And as you know, we don't care about positions. It's more about, you know, those guys are wings for us. And so we'll ask them to, you know, play together quite a bit, I'm sure. I just think that the energy uh, and being able to do it for – know a, a four quarter game and understanding uh, you know what our principles specifically are and what we're trying to uh, limit from game to game and then also just the preparation um, of realizing what we're trying to limit guys from doing on a game to game basis um, you know that's basically it, just perfecting the the, uh, the preparation process and understanding that as we have this group here it's it's very vital that we prepare every single game as we continue to grow as a team how much of an emphasis was it on defense when you first got here with with Brad? I mean, we had a whole tape. We had a whole tape, and, you know, our principles are up on the board. Um, and, you know, you just got to gotta be in the shape to do it. Um, and, you know, when, once that demand is on you and the expectation is there, you just got to fulfill it. It's as simple as that.